not cheap. Does that mean overpriced or on the edge of being overpriced? How do you see the macro markets generally right now? Well, which I think that the market is overly priced given the level of economic growth that we're expecting over the next you know, 12 to 24 months. The, uh, the Fed still remains accommodative, even though there's going to start to tighten. Uh, we do have considerable amount of stimulus still in the market. The, ca- the consumer still has considerable amount of firing power with the savings rate that they have. Employment is picking up. So there's a lot of positive out there. And we are about to get the second quarter earnings for companies. And although they will be good relative to last quarter, last year, I should say, we're really looking for you know, comparison to 2019 level. And we do think that earnings are going to really drive and really valuations are going to come into their own as the second quarter earnings progress. Where are the earnings going to be the strongest, Linda? Well, we do think that certainly energy is going to have good earnings, financials, uh, technology, uh, materials. It's really going to be broad based, you know, really in the more value cyclical sectors of the market that have been benefiting from, you know, rising inflationary um, uh, prices. So materials, let's say, you know, in copper or steel or, you know, or in energy with energy prices moving higher. Financials, you know, you were just talking about financials return. Uh, cash to shareholders. Mm -hmm. I think all of those sectors are going to have really good, strong earnings um, as we move through the next couple of weeks. You know, we talk a lot about a name like Bank of America. That's a name that I know that you like, that we have spoken in the past. But we don't talk a lot about Capital One Financial, but that is another financial you like. Why? Absolutely. Capital One is going to be a beneficiary of the consumer spending. I mean, think about it. We all have those Capital One credit cards um, that we're spending. And the more we spend, the more essentially they make money. Um, So right now, savings rates are high and the consumer is using its own savings. But as we go through that, we're going to be applying for more loans. We're going to have credit um, outstanding. And all of that means more profitability for these credit card companies. And it's not just Capital One. Bank of America and J.P. Morgan also do have very large uh, card businesses, as well as American Express. That's going to benefit from global travel once you know it actually opens up again. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.